This came from Japan. Check it out. Japan Post. Let's open this up. There we go. Look at this thing. Super colorful. Completely in Japanese. I looked, like, I scoured the internet for anything I could find. Um, there's some websites, there's some articles. Ceramic Arts Daily has an article about Narukomi. There's an American book about coloring clay. So this was a book on Amazon that is all about Narukomi and the process of layering colored clays. This book here is a Japanese book on Narukomi. I'm super excited for this. Let's look at a few of these. What to do with this box? It's a nice color, isn't it? Could be a good color for a shirt. There we go. Ready to make some Narukomi. We gotta get a better view for this video though. Here goes nothing. It's hard to thumb through this with your left thumb. Let's do one together. Let's try this. I think these are the 25 that I can do on the front. Hmm. So many choices. I don't know if I actually understand how to do this. First time looking through it. Oh, look at this. This book even has like little grids where you can put your clay on top of. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just still for show, but you could put your clay on top of it and use it as a stencil. Whoa. I think we should try this one. What do you think? That one? You know what? It's not even that hard, it looks like. All we gotta do is, okay, yeah. Let's try this Narukomi pattern. Tutorial mode, engage. This is as weird as I thought it would be. First pattern of the new Narukomi book happening right now. We need less of this middle color, so looks like we need twice as much of the other two colors. Pound of yellow, pound of orange, half a pound of white. Simultaneous wedging, here we go. I'm gonna squeeze this pretty thin. I'm gonna use this ruler as a, as the thickness of it, of the strip. So I figure as far as I can roll this out, that should be good. Quarter inch slats. I use an X-Acto even though I'm on canvas because I use dull X-Acto knives. So they're super sharp, but they're not too sharp where they're gonna ruin the canvas you're working on. Yeah, you know, here, let's use this. We'll use the ruler as a guideline for everything. And this is 8% yellow, which means I wedged in mason stains, 8% per weight. I think we'll skip ahead at this point in the video. So let's skip ahead. All right. All I have to do is just layer these clays into one strip and then cut really specific trapezoids. You're supposed to add a little bit of water in between the layers. I sometimes don't. Depends on how the clay is. But the book tells me to, so I'll do it. And then I have this tool here, I'm just gonna roll it on. I don't wanna push too hard, because if I push too hard, it'll stretch this out. Just pushing enough to give it some specific pressure here. Do orange on the yellow. We'll do yellow on white again, a little bit of water and orange. Um, this, I know, is wider than what I want. At least in the book, it has it at maybe half an inch, and this is about an inch. So, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna roll it flat. Actually, I think I'll cut it in half first. Roughly, it doesn't matter to me. Ooh, there's a little cross section for you. That looks nice. This distorted more than I wanted it to. That's okay. Oh, you know what? I take it back. It worked just as I thought it would. Three quarter inch slats for this Narukomi piece so far. All these pieces were a quarter inch thick, just to give you a reminder. Gently, very gently. I'm hoping we have enough for this. I don't know if we do. Looks like I have about eight inch pieces. This is definitely longer, so two eight inch pieces that are probably about a half inch thick. We have plain porcelain in the center, 8% yellow, 
around that and then 8% red around that. So all you have to do is cut, it's almost like a triangle really. One inch and three sixteenths, equilateral triangle. I gotta think for a moment, let's cut this. All right, so here's what I did. I made an equilateral triangle that's an inch and three sixteenths on every side. There's the magic piece of equipment. It's all we need. First piece. Now I'm gonna cut these ends off. These are in the way. Has anybody here ever done this before besides me? A lot of you, I think, are here on this channel because of the colored clay. What have all of you done? Have you done some of the agate wear where you swirl and wedge up colored clay, some marbled clay? Have you done some Naracomi like this? What has everybody done? Let me know. So I'm hoping that this video can be a tutorial for all of you. You know, because I feel like the internet doesn't have as much info on Naracomi as it should. It's the internet. It should have everything. This. Oh, there we go. Wait. This is not gonna work, shoot! There you go. So you need to have the top measurement of this piece be just as wide as the side measurement. That's where I went wrong with my plan. Imagine that, the book knew more than I did. I'm gonna try to fix this, give me a second. I'm gonna try rolling this out. Let's see. Yep. Cool. Fixed it, all right. I'm gonna skip ahead to all the cuts, okay? Where's the center, where's the center? Okay, here. Again, made a small mistake. It's my first time trying this pattern with you on camera. I haven't done it before. These should all make large triangles. Take each one, and this kind of diagonal should be the same distance at the top. Top and the side. There we go. Last piece goes on top. Not like that, that wouldn't make a triangle, would it? Just like this. So you kinda gotta, I mean, if you like puzzles, this is great. Forming it into a triangle. There's one. Go. Ooh, I'm excited, this is gonna be good. In the book here, it takes 24 of these big triangles, we don't have that. If we can get six, we can do a mini version of that pattern, which I think we have. We definitely have enough for six. And this is reminding me of Zelda and the Triforce. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Legend of Zelda? It's a really cool game. It took three of these trapezoids formed into a triangle. Now it'll take six triangles to make a big hexagon. All you gotta do is just turn these like this. These go together like this. Then the same goes for the top two. This is just a test. Tapping on the table. I don't want to distort the pattern too much, but I'm just giving it a little bit of pressure. Here's the thing too. Don't be afraid to mess this surface up. So when you cut a new slice, the underneath part where you cut is gonna be nice. I'm smoothing this out to link all of these pieces together. You know, I post these cuttings on Instagram too. If you wanna see more of this stuff, I, you know, I don't always have videos for all the Naracomi that I do, um, check out the Instagram below. It's Ceramic Gym. It might change someday. I don't know. Right now, Ceramic Gym is easy. YouTube, Instagram, it's where I live in terms of the art world. I'm gonna cut a very thin piece of this and we'll see what we get. Whatever thickness you want cut, put that down, cut it, and then the bottom part is the cutoff. You'll flip it and peel it off versus trying to cut the very top layer. All right, it's time to cut. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Zooming in. Put a weight on top of this bowl of water. Oh, that turned out pretty good, I'd say. 
What do you think? So again, we have plain porcelain sandwiched by 8% yellow porcelain and then 8% orange porcelain. You can see it's not quite perfect, but there are some nice areas. This right here, I think I nailed this triangle. That one looks awesome. Let's compare it to the pattern, shall we? What would you say? I'd say I did okay. Now again, I only did this small center hexagon. I would need 18 more triangles, which means I'd need 54 more trapezoids just to get this to work. What are you working on in the studio? Is it marbled clay, agate ware, normal pots? Are you doing some spray glazing? What are you working on right now? Thanks so much for watching. Um, here's the book. I don't even know what the title of it is. It's Narakomi stuff. Bonus pattern. Are you ready? Here we go.